Hey, Speed Demons. So how do you create the accounting style formatting for your PowerPoint tables? So I'm not looking for this double text underline, which if you didn't see that shortcut video, there is a shortcut for all three programs that you can use. I'll put in the upper right hand corner. This time what we're looking for is this full cell double underline for your tables, which is often called the accounting style formatting and I misspelled that which is great for all of the financial types in your life so this was the challenge that I sent through all right you can clearly see that I have a double cell border here at the bottom and if you stick with me through this video I'll actually show you how you can actually increase the size of that double cell underline which is great because let's say that I was just going to present you know these two numbers or maybe just this column of information and I made this size you know 40 font or something like that all right this little dinky double cell underline to designate the accounting style is not gonna look as nice as this other one and just so we're clear if I come to the normal view in PowerPoint all right if I click into a cell you can see this is a table tools design tab and layout so this is a default table this is not a picture or any of that jazz and I open up the styles you can see there is no such thing as a double underlined border here in PowerPoint even though I clearly have it both in this table and the other table whereas if I flip to Excel all right here's those Microsoft financial statements I scroll to the bottom I click into a cell you can see here on the home tab border style drop down there is clearly a very easy bottom double border same thing for word if i flip over to word here's those microsoft financial statements click into a cell come up to the table tools design tab you can rewatch this if i'm going a little bit too quickly not only do you have a double cell border here in a word you have a triple border and a bunch of different compound line options so that's what i meant that this was super easy to do in excel and word and it's impossible in powerpoint and the way to do this in PowerPoint is if I just flip back to Excel is what I call the Red Rover technique. So Red Rover, Red Rover, you want to send your PowerPoint table over here to Excel, format it again using this double border, bottom double border is what it's called over here. You're going to use that here in Excel. You're just going to control C to copy your information. You're going to flip back to PowerPoint, come to your slide. You're going to control V to paste that table in. It's going to come as a default looking table. But notice if you open up this paste options and you hit K or choose keep source formatting, that double border is going to automatically come in. Now you're still going to have, if you're using the accounting style formatting, a bunch of spaces in your numbers, which I'm not going to go into here. But if you just come and look at this, you still have to resize everything. There is a native PowerPoint double border cell here in PowerPoint. The only issue is if I come back to Excel, all right, in Excel to format just about anything, just click a cell and hit control one. Control one is going to pop open your format cells dialog box. If you come in here to the border options, you have some line options, you have some color options, you can even like crisscross, you know, a cell like this, but you don't have any option to increase the size of this double underline border. So to do that, that's what you need to red rover technique your table over to Microsoft Word. So if I come over to Microsoft Word, I want to point out if you click into a table cell, so you just bring your table cell over here, you first need to set your border style. All right, so I'm going to do the double underline, not the triple underline, the double underline. You then need to set the weight. All right, I'm going to go for this two and one fourth point. Then, just like in PowerPoint, first you set the style, the weight. You know, do you want a different color? I'm going to leave it black. Then you set the bottom border. So I'm going to set the bottom border. You can see it there. And instead of reapplying it to each one, I'm just going to F4. You could also hit Control Y on your keyboard. I will just select this last column or this last row. Control C to copy. I will Alt Tab back to PowerPoint. Control V to paste. Again, it's going to come in as a table and you can't move it like I just did. So I'm going to Control Z to undo, Control V to paste open up the control options use the keep source formatting and there you can see that double border which is thicker if I just control forward bracket you can see what that would look like well that's not gonna look very pretty at this exact second with the numbers if I just delete the dollar signs out to get the effect boom 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 all right shift F5 you can see where'd my new pen cursor go there it is you can see that with this larger um, font size this double cell border actually works pretty well whereas if I just had used this normal um, double border from Excel with this major Mondo number it's probably not gonna work very well and again this is a true blue 
double underline. There is no space in between the cells, which is how I would normally do this. This is a true blue underline. Just make sure that your colleagues don't mess this up because they will not know how to do this. They will not know that they can red rover the technique, their PowerPoint tables over to Word and Excel to open up some hidden options that aren't available here in PowerPoint. So that's how to create the accounting style double cell underlined formatting in PowerPoint by leveraging Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. So using my red rover technique. If you're brand new to my PowerPoint speed training channel and want to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, hacks, tips, and tricks to help you achieve happy hour, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube below. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets, video series, uh, even uh, 886 free icons you can find hidden on your computer, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I will see you at happy hour.